now you can see that the oh, minutes and seconds have changed. <laughs> Join us seal folk as we follow the path of the salmon run. From the ocean to the river. Hi and welcome if you're new here. Hey, my name is Flossie. I'm a photographer, amateur freediver with a passion for the ocean. I hope you enjoy the vlogs, build projects and explorations of the oceans, lakes and forests just as much as I enjoyed making them. And I look forward to sharing more adventures with you here. In Celtic mythologies, Selkies, which means seal folk, are the mythological beings with the magical power of changing from seal to human form by shedding their skin, or in our case, donning our seal wetsuits. This one's slightly older. Starting from a colourful dock full of fishing craft of all shapes, ages and sizes, we were off to a beautiful but protected deep bay, just out of reach of the channel current. to the camera. <laughs> the seasonal changes underwater often mean the summer ocean is murky and full of algae and other microscopic organisms. So it was a treat to dive in such clear water. We saw an army of green urchins that have moved into the bay, absolutely decimating the eelgrass.
move. Somebody's watching. Eelgrass supports an abundance and diversity of marine fish and invertebrates, acting as a nursery in spring and summer for many commercial and forage fish species. like the selkies, the salmon also have a magical power in that they can live in both salt and fresh water. Today, the seal folk are swimming in the ocean and also the river for the salmon run. such a beautiful river to swim in, with many rapids and deep shady pools. Lively crayfish also make it their home. the salmon return to their birthplace rivers to spawn or lay eggs. Their magical power is called osmoregulation, the control of body fluids and ions during the transition from freshwater to saltwater and back again. The salmon run is a very important part of the river ecosystem's life cycle, providing food to many other animals and plants. The valuable nutrients in the decaying salmon fertilize the water that feeds the developing salmon and feeds a host of animal and plant life. Up to 50% of the total nitrogen the trees near salmon runs use comes from salmon. It's a give and take relationship 
The salmon fertilize the trees with their bodies at the end of their lives, and the fallen giants provide backwater nurseries for more young salmon. Thanks for watching this adventure with the seals and the salmon. 